Hey, what's up? What's up? It's Thursday. You guys already know. And you're here on Lesbian Central with your girl, Cassandra. This week's um, topics are our first girlfriend experience and what we've learned from that. What's the other topic? You guys don't know what high shoes are. The grape one. It's the bomb.com. You know what I'm saying? The second topic is, is when we feel is the best time to start making things official putting a label on your relationship i figured you know i'd give you guys a different view say hi to cj i think i want to talk a little bit about both i wouldn't consider my very first one like my official relationship experience with a girl because it wasn't really like completely official between the two of us even though it was about a two-year thing that was going on plain and simple this girl was a bitch and she was psycho controlling insane in the brain makes you carve her name on your skin she just got issues yeah that was just a fail like throw that shit away the second one he might as well have been a girl just because i was super dominating and he had long curly hair i don't have that much history on my like serious relationship shit just because i'm more into long term all the other experiences were like just little flings aside from the psycho bitch my biggest serious fail was last year it lasted about three months instead of being psycho let's just take the um second syllable shall we yes you guessed it right she was a hoe yeah what i took from those three is don't get with a psycho bitch if you're with a guy with long hair and you are more maybe masculine and more dominating than him you might as well be with a girl and then don't fuck with the hoes unless you're a hoe yourself then <laughs> go right ahead and yeah i would actually consider my current to be my first girlfriend experience just because it's my very very first where i've actually learned a lot of things and real feelings are involved i honestly didn't know that there was a difference with being in love and loving someone until my current relationship I just never knew that there was such a thing. This is my first learning experience. So I'm currently in the process. It's already been like a year and nine months. We're a long distance couple. To be serious about a long distance relationship takes a lot of heart, a lot of effort, a lot of trust, a lot of communication. Communication is in every relationship key, but in a long distance relationship, that's like all you have. You barely have enough time or days in the year to even physically be with that person so all we have is skype texting phone calls and that's about it one time i had bought us jack in a box and we were heading home we were just like nonchalantly you know dipping our hands into the bag eating the curly fries and i'm driving i'm not paying attention to each and every single fry that's inside the fucking bag i'm eating this one sexy fat ass curly fry and my girlfriend decides to get mad at me and i'm like what the fuck and she's like why'd you steal my fry and i'm like what are you talking about and she's like i was saving that fucking fry for me and i'm like how was i supposed to fucking know like it was in the fucking bag like i was just grabbing shit and eating shit she seriously got mad at me because i took that fry we argue about the stupidest shit the stupidest shit and it's funny she's practically my breast my breast friend <laughs> She's practically my best friend. We're both open with each other. We've gone through um, the deepest shit ever, but we pulled through it. Being that we are in a long distance relationship, we only had the phone and all that stuff. That's all we had to get to know each other. But it, I actually appreciated that. Like the fact that I didn't need her to be in front of me, like to actually have a conversation with her, actually talk to her, get to know her. It gave us a, like, a lot of time to get to know each other. Um, before we actually finally met in person. I honestly felt with this girl that there's no need to rush things. After getting to know her, I knew that she would be fully committed as much as I am, especially 
given the fact that it's a long distance relationship and she's never been in one but she trusted me enough to even consider being in a long distance relationship we're we're two hours apart from each other having to drive through la and all that shit like that shit is insane so it turns into like four hours if you're like really dedicated and committed in a relationship and you're really serious about this person like you're definitely gonna do anything to make sure that it works regardless of the distance what i'm taking from this relationship if you definitely trust this other person and you know that they're giving you the same exact effort love trust and all that stuff that comes along with the relationship if they're giving you the same exact amount and you guys are meeting halfway you definitely know that she's a keeper there's no need to rush at all have fun make memories there's just a lot to experience ups and downs that's a part of being in a relationship don't expect that everything's gonna be perfect throughout the relationship period or whatever as long as you guys are both open and honest with each other that's definitely gonna be something that helps your relationship last not being afraid to let your feelings show you have to. It's a part of your relationship if you want it to be successful. Even through all the bullshit, I still feel like this is still new to me. So if you're in a relationship with that type of feeling and you got that going with that shouty, then that's what's up. If you ever have anything with your relationship that you feel needs to be brought up, bring it up. It's you and that other person, just you two. You guys need to make it work. That's my little little shit talk. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna speak about the other topic as well, but I just figured that I would just solely concentrate on this one subject. Well, you guys have a great fucking Thursday. Doses, bitch!